The Liebherr A904 is a wheeled material handling machine. It is based on the A904 excavator and has a weight of around 25 tonnes. This model is in the colours of Rishi of Weinigen in Switzerland. It comes in a Liebherr branded box which is a little bit unusual because it has a graphic of the real machine rather than a photograph. Inside are the usual expanded polystyrene trays and I'm not lucky today because it's come bottom side up but I can twist it over, take the lid off and there's the model sitting in the tray. It's well packed and it's protected by soft paper which you can just remove. And once that's done the model is complete out of the box, there's no assembly to do and no parts to fit. Starting underneath the detail is simple, there's a little bit of transmission detail and the underside of the storage boxes is hollow. The double tyres have a good tread pattern but the thick white paint in the wheels slightly obscures the detail. The stabiliser beams at each end are metal and that includes the pads and there's some detailing. But the operator's cab is very good, there's thin metal handrails outside, nice mirrors and the controls inside are good. The body casting has some detail and it's always good to see the panel handles highlighted and small warning graphics. At the rear the Liebherr name and A904 are highlighted in the casting although you can hardly see them. But the lights are painted and the Rishi graphics are sharp enough. There's further nice detailing at the front with hydraulic hoses to the main hydraulic boom rams. There's a mass of cabling down the back of the elevating mechanism for the cab and the roof is good too with a nice grille pattern. Excellent hydraulic hoses also run along the top of the industrial type straight boom. And it's good that all of the connection rivets, for example here between the boom and the stick, are painted, so they don't show. The sorting grapple is a decent metal part, but it doesn't have genuine perforations like the real thing. Here the Cranes Etc team member is telling his wife he's found the ideal machine to lift his log. Out on the test track the review model rolled reasonably well, although there was a little bit of unevenness in the axles, so it wasn't a completely smooth ride. This machine has a steering front axle and that's been implemented quite well, there's a reasonable range of movement. Although it's quite stiff, but once it's set the model does go around a curve quite nicely. The other feature you normally see on a wheeled material handler is the stabilisers, and they work on this model, you can fold them down. The pads at the end are fully pivoting, so it stands nicely when you put the pads down. And it's good that the hydraulic rams on the stabilisers are quite stiff because that means you can pose the model with the wheels up free of the ground. One question that's frequently asked at Cranes Etc is what models are going to be reviewed in the future? Well one place you can find out is by visiting the Cranes Etc website. And if you go to the home page, right in the middle there's a section called Reviews Coming to Cranes Etc and there are pictures of the upcoming model reviews. You can of course lower all four stabilisers and that gives the machine the maximum stability during working. Once you've got it set up, the first feature to try out is rotation and it's very smooth on the model with no rocking at all. And another nice feature of a machine like this is the elevating cab that gives the operator a much better view when he's loading up. It's a fairly stiff parallelogram mechanism on the model but it works well and you can hold any pose that you want to set. And as always, it's easy to go down in the world. The range of movement on the boom and stick is very good. You can raise the boom up almost vertically and have the load in front of the cab, or you can stretch out and have the boom and stick almost horizontal. And it's only if you go that far out that the model gets a little bit tipsy, particularly if you do it over the side rather than over the end. The other thing you can do is to fold it right up, and even though the sorting grapple is not removable, it becomes a viable transport load. The grapple itself works okay too, it was very stiff on the review model at actually rotating. But it does work and you can also open and close the jaws and they're joined together by a hydraulic ram inside. The other nice aspect to the tool attachment is that there's a full range of movement in and out. So there's plenty of flexibility in how you pose the model. So let's get on with a loading test and here we're going to put a beam into a truck and what's that idiot doing travelling on the machine? Well he looks severely injured but he's expendable so we'll carry on. The grapple holds the load well and discharges it with ease. This is another high quality Liebherr model by NZG even though it's been out for a few years and even though the finish of the review model wasn't the best, it looks good in the rare and unusual Rishi colour scheme. The features work well enough and the detailing is good too, so overall it's highly recommended. Mm -hmm.